Finally, a consideration of the 20th century, living composers and ongoing resources. These must always come with a disclaimer that it's nearly impossible to name and fully introduce them all. However, there is without a doubt fantastic music being composed today. Here is an overview by geographical region. Some American composers born in the first half of the 20th century include Undine Smith Moore, Margaret Sandrasky, Orpha Oxy, who is the author of The History of Organ in the United States, and Emma Lou Deemer. American composers of the second half of the 20th century include Libby Larson, Pamela Decker, Rebecca Grumtevelt, Dorothy Papadakos, Pamela Reuter Feenstra, Melissa Dunphy, Chelsea Chen, Brenda Portman, Zenaida Stewart Robles, and many more. Within Canadian composers, first the prolific and award winning Rochelle Loren, Ruth Watson Henderson, Eleanor Daly, Stephanie Martin, Florence Jurel Clark, Nancy Telfer, and Sarah McDonald. And English composers, Judith Bingham, Judith Weir, Cecilia McDowell, Carenza Briggs, and Italian composer, Carlotta Ferrari. There are several excellent print collections of organ repertoire to recommend. Here are six. First, a short compilation Three Pieces of Organ Music by Women Composers Before 1800, edited by Calvert Johnson, published by Harbach Music. Second, Women Composers Album, 20 Pieces for Organ from the 17th through 20th centuries, edited by Charles Callahan, published by Morningstar. Third, an album of female composers, 22 organ pieces from the 19th and 20th century, published by Schott in Germany. Fourth, the GIA King of Kings collection of the organ music of black composers, past and present. Fifth, the Oxford collection of hymn settings for organists, which features new, accessible, voluntary settings, many by women. And sixth, Gregoriana, a book of 12 chant-based organ pieces by contemporary women composers for liturgical and concert performance, published by Stainer and Bell in 2022. Many new online databases and audiovisual recordings are available to aid in the discovery of new voices. So I encourage you to delve deeply into these resources to learn more about a composer or two from today's Launchpad talk and to reach out to follow and support the contemporary women composers creating new music today. To close, here is the first movement of prize-winning American composer Brenda Portman's Psalm Sonata No. 1.
That was Brenda Portman's Psalm Sonata Number 1. I'm Janet Yeh. Thank you so much for joining us for this series.